Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So we're continuing on. So we're starting the trial, right? Uh, I've already chosen the... What's it called? The skills? I, I switched them up a bit. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them now, but I couldn't exit out of the game <laughs> without choosing them. So, yeah, I don't know. All right. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a spe special rule. So listen, so listen up. up. If you can figure out oh. Muguro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, uh -huh. you guys win. Ooh, I like winning. But if you can't, mm -hmm. then I win. Oh. And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment. Oh. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. Oh, that's pretty neat. I can't see that. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not. Bears never go back on their word. Oh, well, I've got interested now. Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. No. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> to be fair, yeah, Yasuhiro, uh... Yasuhiro being serious, that is, is something. Is mastermind only one person? Alright. <laughs> that confirms that one thought I had earlier. That only, um... That he sent pictures to each one with the people that taking the picture being the one who it was sent to. Because I also had the thought that it's quite possible that um, he could have all sent the same picture without uh, Makoto in it. But now this kind of confirms it. Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. No. Oh. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me. Yeah, that, that's the Aussie hero thought for all you. Right, aren't I? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he very much knew it. Group photo places a check at Master's E handbook. Oh yeah. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? It's gonna be the group photo. I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. Oh. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. <laughs> evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. <laughs> Come on. What? Biakia. Hold on. Think about it a little bit. Make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Actually, what? How? Wait, wait, what the you heck? Have all been working together, was that like super you? slow or? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. What was up with that? Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure. Why'd that go so slow? Evidence of my own. What also, I forgot how wiggly the trigger mark. I took away the one that like that steady hand or whatnot. Has been working together. What? I took away steady hand, so now uh, it's really it shaky. Make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Yeah. I'm uh. You guys have all been working oh boy, together, I have. Now realizing that I took away a skill that I very much needed. Because, holy crap. I'm not used to this timing. Guys, this might be a long freaking trial. What? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Boop! Yes! Okay, it hit, it hit. Josh, this, that's gonna suck later. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. No. What? You too? We all do, bud. The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. But all of ours are different. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Ah. With the picture you have, I'm in it. Uh, yeah. But that 
can't be right. Because in my picture... Mm. See? I'm the only one not in it. Interesting. So, I mean, this is cool and all, but I have a quick question. Why is Sakura about to murder everyone? Alright, well, continuing on. Also, that's a great image. I figured as much, in which case... Hero, you have a picture too, right? I kind of want to see all these guys' images. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. No. Uh, this one too. It's just like I thought. Uh huh. Yeah, Yasuhiro's not in it. No, there's a donut lady in it. Pictures has been revealed. No. We're the ones taking the picture. Sure, whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. Come on, Biakia, at least stick with me. I, I hope Biakia realizes my something. Picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. Mm. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. Yeah. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think get him, Makoto. everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? Yeah. Oh, my. A trap? How rude. What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Because you're kind of mean. And that's like something you would do. The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo is a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos. That person is the one who got the photos. I got it. Yeah, I mean, that's the obvious one. Case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. <laughs> yeah, no dir. I mean, that should be really so, obvious. In the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. Uh-huh. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. Yeah. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'm just realizing something. Isn't Junko supposed to be like the really photogenic one? I think in every single one, she's like turned around. <laughs> I find that kind of funny. She's like the pop as star. As we're talking about it, I Not pop star, I that's Sayaka. Magazine well. model? Is it magazine model? It was magazine model, I think. Ooh, I want to see Bayakia's. <laughs> in other words, I was right. Did you see Jungle that time? He splashed in the face. <laughs> the least photogenic, even though it was the um, ultimate freaking the ultimate photogenic was the least photogenic. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it. Saw our picture. We just assumed everyone else was the enemy. Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Um. Oh yeah, it was. It was basically giving us a hint that there was a past life. But you know, there might be s more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's picture. What is it? What's digging Listen, at me? Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, mm. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Junko's the least photogenic one. Yeah, well, mind. I was going to point it out. I'm sure something's unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them and find out. Biakia's picture. Hina's picture. Or he's going to mention... Makuro. Also, Celeste always seems to be in, like, the far back. That is also something I noticed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ah, well, she... I mean, yeah. <laughs> Again, Junko, you are the least photogenic one here. Uh, half the time of not your own volition, I feel like, though. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something... Proof photo has been updated to the truth. Can you just forget about the photo already? All right. Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo. I mean, he clearly so tricked you. That. And on top of that, 
They went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Well, see. Mm -hmm. So you think they're fake? I don't. No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way. There actually is a way. Allow me to say, the despair group wiped your memories. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. It was a sneak picture. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you oh. know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But uh -huh. is that really enough to be absolutely Gosh, positive they're just, fake? Makoto, just share the evidence. You have so much evidence. Just give it. What do you mean? Spill all of your truth bullets all at once and then... We'll know something. The reason I don't remember the picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable, entirely horrifying reason. Hangman's gonna- oh! Oh, it's gonna be amnesia. <laughs> I know this game. We need an S. Give me an S. Those, those, that's a lot of not S's. There we go. Amnesia. Woo. The greatest. All right. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Yes. Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. See, Yasuhiro gets it. Maybe he does have a brain cell. As if. Uh oh. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Yeah, right, you know what, Yasuhiro? You're not, you're not helping. Get out of here. Yeah. We all lost our memories? That's just oh. crazy. First off, why are you crying? Oh, I clicked auto. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. I mean, is it called freaking? I don't know. Maybe we got like a lobotomy in the brain factor. The brain factor. The brain zone. Whatever. <laughs> no matter. I keep on clicking space on accident. Instead of uh, mouse button. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides these pictures. Yep, the disc. The disc. Make your argument. I'm assuming it's going to be the interview DVD. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Yep. When did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I don't know, man. I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Are you sure? Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. Oh. The idea that we all lost our memories. I forgot. Is totally stupid. Obviously. <laughs> You're stupid, Yasiro. You're stupid. All right. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since yes. Since this turned into some kind of sci-fi fantasy. I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. Yeah, hit it. I no, shot it on accident, no. but that's all right. <laughs> ah, get wronged, nerd. Those all photos right. aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. I have a DVD. This DVD does the same thing. But, <laughs> frickin' Monokuma broke the DVD yeah, disc. You're gonna show us something indecent, are you? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> no, but, uh... No, it's nothing like that. <laughs> it's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. Yeah. And well, yeah. Kyoko can back me all up on that. Us. You mean all of us? I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. Exactly. That's what the amnesia thing is about. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. But, um, so the DVD player is broken. So the source is just trust me, bro. <laughs> the headmaster did, in fact, interview you. Mm hmm. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. 
Cause amnesia. It's not about whether or not I remember. Oh. You expect me to believe all this? That I I lost my memory somehow? Dude, there's a walking talking bear that has bombs inside of it that moves very fluently well as fluently as this game can portray to me so clearly they've got some sort of decent technology i saw their command room well we don't have any way to refute it so we have no choice but to accept it as reality yeah Why did you say that we're talking about living breathing amnesia here yeah that's a creature to be honest i have something else on my mind right now uh-huh something else you said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? Yes. What were the interviews about? Uh, staying at the school. The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. And we all said yes. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? The answer was yes. We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Ooh. Got a shock and awe, everyone. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something Well, you like also that? did. I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers? Nope. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Uh-huh. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to well, live what here if forever? Japan was taken over by a Britannia-style despair group. That's what I'm saying. It's just insane. How can I believe that? No, man. Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? Maybe. You sure are, cause it's all true. Hey, Monokuma's here to back us up. What? Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds absurd. I'm kind of surprised Monokuma's backing us up, but you know. Truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed, we only have one path in front of us. I imagine Biaki ought to be a little more broken up about this, but <laughs> or really? or doubting me, but. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, we definitely, totally, naturally lost it, and, uh, I actually bet you made this us lose it. Making my head hurt. As amnesia should. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. It's targeted, which I also don't know how that works. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Again, I don't think he stole it, I think he destroyed them. Oopsie, you figured that part out I too, don't think huh? he can possibly give them back. Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. Mm -hmm. But how could someone just steal our memories? I don't know, man. How's there a very fluid walking bear robot? I don't know, man. There's a lot of mystery things going on. How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. Ah. So... Was this a plot hole that the uh, developers didn't feel like explaining? If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? No, I don't know. Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. No. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? Yes. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Well, I'm glad that the amnesia idea. And yeah, you know, so, some of my theories are falling into place. The some of them are becoming more concrete. Master, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. Mm. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Because we were all friendlies. Uh, there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. Oh. The original you motive. the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? Yup. That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? Because we are all friendlies. We would never do that if we were friendlies. <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Oh, I bet it's tough. 
like I said earlier, to sp spread despair to the already conquered part of Japan to squash out the rebels' hopes. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy. I still believe that. Focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. I still don't believe Mukuro Ikusaba is dead. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? Yes. So until we do that, well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So the only one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. All right, we're gonna do some exposing stuff here. Ikusaba's profile, headmaster's handbook. So who did it? Who killed her? Uh, Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. I don't think I can refute that. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? I don't know. Of course. Well, yes. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um. <laughs> <laughs> make me so sure exactly you're just making stuff up there's no way the mastermind is here the mastermind is probably a million miles away ah that's wrong i actually know that one. Oh frick i was gonna listen and that was just so long i didn't want to listen to it all again there's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school <laughs> something i got how do you know did you find some evidence or something actually yes uh-huh get dunked on in the back of the data center i found a panel that controls monokuma how did i not already share all this information the mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time oh that's right before we got to share everything monokuma was like hey y'all are all against each other so there can't be any doubt the mastermind has been inside the school all along yeah there can't be any doubt in which case there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. Or Makuro, like I've been saying. What? Why? Because Recall why not? Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I don't remember this. I'm sure I told you this already, but the skilling games began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people taking a single step in hopes peak since the skilling game began are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. Mm -hmm. Yes, Makuro. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? By being Makuro. So we're the only ones here? Probably, you know, hiding in the control room. I mean, that would be a pretty easy way to survive. It's not me. I'm not the mastermind. Mm hmm well, it's not me. I blame Makoto. Another thing. They didn't put up, they haven't put up the X with Makuro's face on it yet. Instead, Monokuma is in that place. So that's another reason why I also think it's Makuro. Although that's just further evidence. That's me trying to grasp at straws to reinforce my point that has a chance of being wrong. What? Why me? That is a good question. Why me? Because it's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Okay, that's kind of weird, but you know that's that's Chihiro's fault, and you know you know it is kind of weird because if anyone else was put under the gun, Chihiro would not have saved him. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind. Guys, did you not see right? Chihiro's face? Uh, yeah, it is. Me. Shut up, Monokuma. Wait, what are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. No. Oh. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. Well, we still gotta do that. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Mm. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? I don't think any, actually. He's right. What more is there to talk about? <laughs> I don't know, man. The murder. If you want something to talk about, I think there might be... Oh, I forgot. There was actually a whole previous trial. <laughs> we haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. 
She died when she got hit in the back of the head. Well, uh, the, the Monokuma uh, messed with evidence, or not messed with evidence, but prevented someone from finding evidence. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Yes, it was stabby stabs. Junko Wouldn't died. Agree, it was Junko. Makuro's actual cause of death must have been the other wounds. I got it. All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really mm -hmm, killed mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. I think it's Junko. I think Junko's dead. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? Mm-hmm. The body is covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. At least. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Unless it was from the Consider morgue. This. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? Mm. What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? True. I mean, the only fresh blood was because of the stab wound, right? And that, there, that, like, that was chicken. There was no actual fresh blood anywhere else. So, if that's true. You know. Then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why not? Because, because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Did you forget? How do you know this? Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So well, didn't didn't her like no. biography or whatnot say that she never got hurt? You're wrong. Cause like the <laughs> ultimate soldier. She denied me <laughs> before I could even say anything. Shut up, Toko. Shh, shh. Be quiet. <laughs> oh no! Shut up. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least. Listen to what I have to say. No, you're weird. You're you weird. I, I, you know, you're weird. I'm, if you're sure, sure we're going to deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Alright, time to deny her. I think it's Makura Ikusaba's profile. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. Yeah. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. Mm -hmm. So. When you think about it, obviously she got all those wounds and boop. No, that's wrong. I am super happy that was all lined up because I was a spitting one and I suck at hitting those apparently. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. Yeah. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. I don't remember this, but I just assumed that's what it said. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school. She hadn't sustained a single injury. Yeah, come on, Toko, read out better. Uh, be denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. Why is that refreshing? Why is that, re guys? Is that refreshing? Does being is is being denied something that people find refreshing? Am I just an odd person? Like, is is that is that something? I don't. That's just not something I relate to. Like. Maybe I'm the weird one, all right? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's how all of y'all feel. Who, who knows? <gasps> maybe it's because of all of Master's training. Well, anyway, training, so training. We what sure training? All right. Suffered all those wounds after coming to this school, in which case they could be the very thing that killed her. Mm. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. Uh oh. When examining her body. I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Because ultimate Scooby-Doo mystery solver Unless skills. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Uh -huh. And I think it was being smitten by... It was called Mjolnir, right? Was it? What's that the name of the punishment? I know it's the name of Thor's hammer, but I forgot if it was the name of the Whatever. He killed Mercuro's fatal injury has been added to his proof. Stop at giving me more truth bullets. I'm trying to make them burn out. Her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? Yes. That's exactly what it means. 
When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? I, what happened last night? Oh, yeah, the me almost getting stabbed Koto, thing. you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. Uh-huh. If Mukuro had already been dead for several but days... But that's the real Mukuro. Have been her. So who was it that attacked you? That didn't even want to attack me. Can't think of anyone else. The mastermind. I got it! I know this is dying. The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. I mean, I also think Mikuro. I when think both answers are Mukuro correct. In the garden wearing the same mask. It's not Mikuro, it's Junko. I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. Mm. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. Ah. <laughs> awesome, my nose is itchy. What are you laughing at? He's recalling happy memories of almost stabbing me. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. No, oh, okay. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. No. Oh. What is... Wait, quick question. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Your assumption right. that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. Yes. Are you levitating? Huh. All right. You can't really know who was under I just want to point that out. He's, he's levitating right I now. I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. <laughs> yeah. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least that's what I think. All right. Well, y you don't matter, so go away. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? There's no way Mukuro was the one that attacked me, even if I didn't see their face. Herb oh. Yeah, it doesn't have a Fenrir tattoo. Tattoo. Like I said, I think that Fenrir tattoo on the wrist was fake. Wait. Yeah, so it's quite possible that the real one doesn't even have one on its wrist, but it could be somewhere else. Now make your argument. Oh, Monokuma number five. Frick, I don't. You never. Frick, what, what is this? What is this? Uh, bah, 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 bah. So it is the explosion, identity unknown, dead before the blast, stabbed a single time, struck in head, covered in. Okay, so it says nothing about a tattoo, so it's going to be a grabbing kind of thing. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face. There is another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Mm hmm Oh? And what is this other part? Uh, the is wrist? It the right hand? Or the left hand? Uh, uh, uh. Maybe the right foot. Shut up. Or perhaps the left foot. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's the right hand. Could it be the hips? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Most of the future tattoo the marked her. Certain area easy to spot. You I think it was the right hand. Face, right? I think it was the so right hand. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. If this is the problem. I'm telling you now, it was uh, Ikusaba. No, it wasn't. No. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Yes. Or the left hand? Maybe the right Why does he just repeat himself? Or perhaps in pink. the left foot. Or could it be the hips? Oh, it could be the hips. You know. We could easily see that from the attacker. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. That's not I'm true. Telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaki. Hit it. Yes. No, I was right. Yeah, baby. All right. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. Uh-huh. 
although I think it's going to be proven later, that that tattoo on the body was fake. So we're going to have to circle back to that later. A representation of Fenrir. Look, In see, it's already words, slightly oh, rubbed off. Guys, 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 it's adding up. It's adding up. Look how rubbed off that is. It's fake. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. Mm hmm And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask I'm, was I'm going to be so hyped if I'm actually right. Yeah, yeah. I think well, I'm right. I'm 100% okay. right. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. Well, who else would do it? It could have been, you know, someone else, right? I, maybe. Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis. For oh, yeah, then Kyoko rescued me, so. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Yeah, uh, fair. Okay, sure, it couldn't have been any of you, but what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. No, she was rescuing me. I know what's happening. Uh -oh, no she didn't have back. gloves on. Nada, bullseye. she didn't have gloves. The, the attacker didn't have gloves on. And there was no scars on the hand. If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. The hands. Before anyone can say anything. <gasps> We're going to see Kyoko's hands. Oh, right. Okay, that actually looks bad. <laughs> Kyoko's removing her gloves. Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt Awful, skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. Ah. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. Ugh, those pretty nasty scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Mm. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. And then she put her gloves back on. <laughs> yeah, was... My scars should suffice as proof. Rip Monokuma. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Mm -mm. I don't think so. No, not at all. I'm positive. Well, to be perfectly honest, if I was in Makoto's situation, I had freaking no idea. It was dark. I was hazy. Like, he, he Makoto, was, it was dark for him. He was literally in, like, hazy stupor from sleep. And it happened in an instant. So, the fact that he can remember this is beyond me. The only reason I remember this is because it keeps on showing me the picture. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true they may, mastermind. These people may be dumb, but they got some really good memory. <laughs> this is just awful. No. Oh. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positive hey, don't be mean. scars of yours. Uh, uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Oh, yeah, I mean, he probably didn't. He probably doesn't care what you think. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? Mm, yes. Not corner just yet. Oh. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally Until we unknown. prove it otherwise. Or we prove what it is. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? No, pr probably not. <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing That'd to That'd be interesting, about. but I don't think so. I think it's Junko. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Mm-hmm. Then somehow she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. Yeah. No, no, died, we saw it. It was directly in front of us. Time went by before we found her, right? The, the culprit stash her somewhere. She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? Nah, the morgue. If she was, she would have been totally decomposed, just like your brain. Ah, I can agree with you there. Then she was being stored yes. somewhere. Yes. But to hide a body oh my gosh. Why am I... Store it somewhere? Wait, Toko should know this. Oh my gosh, Toko... Wait, 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 wait. 
Toko should know this better than everyone else. <laughs> Alright. There was only one place. I can't think of anywhere else what it could have been. The bio lab. Nah, the kitchen. It was in the donuts. Hina, get traumatized. You mean on the fifth floor? You know what? That would have been one of the more perfect crimes in this place. What if they took the body, right? And they turned it into food and hid it in the back of storage. Like, or what if they, I don't know, flushed a, got a bunch of spam cans, right? Took out the spam and flushed it. You know what? No, they, if they could have grinded up this. I don't know. I feel like they could have hid it among the food. That would have been the ultimate crime. No one would have known. But sadly, we do not have an ultimate chef here. So... Oh, I clicked auto on accident. That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Mm -hmm. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. Yes. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. Oh, I do have In proof. Fact, the I tarp. Proof. proof that, yeah, yeah. There's something that made its way from the bio lab to the garden. Do, do, do. Look at me. I've got evidence. I got it. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is mm -hmm. the tarp that we found in the garden. Yeah. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. Oh, what did you notice? I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Good for you. Oh, it says bio lab. I forgot we take pictures of everything. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't know. Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. I have a nitpicky nature? This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio. -like. I didn't know this. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. And that's how it was moved. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Yes, and that would explain Then they simply the left murder. it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the coat on it afterwards. Yes! It's all coming you together. You made everything sound so amazingly consistent. Because that's the right answer. <laughs> that's just a wild guess. Well, shut up, Monokuma. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. I, uh... There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. Yeah? But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, true. Yeah, Monokuma, I gotta say, you got a really crappy poker face for a robot. Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Uh huh. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room. Isn't it? Yeah, yes. Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? Yeah. You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. And that was the number of bodies. Could you two talk about? I can't hear you. La 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 la. Hold up, let me look at the reload. I, I, I know what kind of, I know what kind of thing's coming up. How do I reload? Oh, I'll have to check. Such a child. I forgot how to reload. Oh well, just ignore it. it. It's either R or Tab or Q. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. This just thing about up. Could you be talking about? By the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one what thing? What one thing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? I don't know. Your family. What the hell does that have to do with this situation? What? 
<laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. Uh huh. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Yeah, I don't know, man, but like, that's not what we're on right now. Why are you bringing that up now? Because he your wants to mom, shake you loose. Your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Yeah, I don't know, are man. You really as safe as you might have assumned? Uh, probably. Stop not actually, that. probably not. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Don't worry, I'm not upset. That's just Makoto, and I'm the one making decisions behind him, so, you know, we're good. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the point of the truth, to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be one area where the numbers just don't match up. Oh, well, I thought it would be one of those... Oh, Are you sure about this? That's impossible. All right, I was right. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. Holy crap. What? What How many are there? Are you sure about this? That's Stop impossible. it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying my best here. Okay. I'm not listening. My lab secret. Uh, my lab lives. No. Yes. It was Biolab Lights. I'm not listening. This should prove it. Well, shut up. You better listen, nerd. I'm calling people nerds a lot lately. I should probably, I should probably stop doing that. The consistency Hiyoko's talking about is the lights. Okay, it's tab to reload. I remember. <laughs> but what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the Biolab also acts as a morgue. Uh-huh. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. Yes, it is a meat locker. That's where everyone who's died is stored. However, there's one missing. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in there. Oh, I still understand how, like, butter is in there, but, you know, <laughs> moving on. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on. Including the one Mukuro was in. Mm -hmm. And there were only nine. When there should be ten. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite side. I forgot, version, hero. Man. You need to get a little bit smarter, bud. Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights that should be on is ten. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Yeah. S suspicious? Because there's ten dead people. Come on. <laughs> Context clues. Get, take the context clues and look at them. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka. Junko. Leon. Chihiro. Mondo. Taka Hifumi, Celeste, Sakura, and quote unquote Makuro. Hmm. Hmm. Ten people in all? Yeah. That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. Because why was there another? But according to the lights in the bio lab. Only nine people were being <gasps> I just realized something. Remember my wig theory? You know what? I think my wig theory is correct. 
I think both Yasuhiro and Junko are wearing wigs. Wanna know why? Because during that explosion, the mask was gone. Yeah, can I actually, wait, hold up. Can explosion singe all the hair? I don't think so, could it? I feel like there would be some hair left, at least. So, what I'm thinking is that Junko's real hurt. Like, even though she's like the TV, not TV, magazine pop star, she's actually wearing a wig. Guys, my theories are out of this world right now. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? That could explain how the hair fit into the mask because the hair wasn't on. It's a wig. And that's why there was no hair left after the explosion. Oh my gosh, we're figuring it out. I got it. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. Hey, hey Oe, how does that fit in? But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. Hey, I just realized something. Why does... So Makoto calls everyone by their first name except AoE. Uh, he calls her Hina, which I don't really understand yes, why. Her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? I know. Oh, oh, maybe they're not on a first name basis because Makoto also hates AoE just like me. That would be awesome. Let's hope that's the explanation. It may very well be that none of them disappear. Yeah, one of them got blown up. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Well, if we were being logical about this, because one is butter, and the butter was eaten. But since we're not being logical about this, uh, one that one of those was actually filled with butter and actually an empty butter container and the one missing was used in explosion including monokuma's executions there have apparently been 10 deaths but there were only nine bodies mm -hmm. that's the point i'm trying to make i'm completely lost how can the number of victims be less than the number of murders yep wow we got some major airheads in this. And the reason there are less bodies than murders, the explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? What would make the time, what would it make, oh frick, same person was killed twice? Yes, Massamai destroyed a body, only, yes. It's just the Massamai destroyed a body and then, if they were going to destroy a body, it would have been Mercuros, the only one they're connected to. There's no point in destroying any body other I mean, than that. Didn't you just say all that? All right. No, I'm embarrassing myself. Hey, it technically did destroy one. Oh, same person was killed twice. Okay, I glanced over this option, right? Oh, wait, no, only nine murders took place? Wait, wait, both, those, those are correct. Yes. Both of those are right. There is only nine murders. Gosh, I hate that. One means the other. They are the same definition. Killed twice? And that's not even a realistic one. Someone can't be killed twice. But there could have only been nine actual murders. Nine dead bodies. Whoa! Would that make much more sense then? Oh, that man was killed twice. Like, that doesn't fit. We ain't Frankenstein here. Or, or, yeah, we ain't Frankenstein here. We're not reviving folks. Okay. Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. Mm -hmm. But one of the victims may have been murdered. And then murdered again. I don't think 
that's what happened. Makoto, I don't think they got murdered and then murdered again. That is just not how this works. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been 10 killings, but still only nine victims, right? Mm. Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that. Doesn't make any plausible sense. It easily have happened. No. It is what happened. Shut up, Kyoko. That's not what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? Yes. It was Mukuro, of course. No. It was Junko. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab mm. until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? It, gosh. All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers. Everyone else and is wrong. Will become obvious. Nothing's going to become obvious. Shut up, Monokuma. Because Kyoko's totally delusional. All right, then. I can I can get behind that, too. Make your argument. Is this someone else that Mukuro was killed at? I don't know. Was we'll find out. Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Yes. Leon Kuwata? Crap. Chihiro Fujisaki? Are they just going to go through naming Kawada? all of them? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? It was Kiyotaka. Hifumi Yamada? And no, I was Celestia Hifumi. Lu whatever. Love that. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Oh, oh, oh! Am I supposed to capture that? Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Yes. Words can cut as deep as any blade. Shoot. All right. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? I'm gonna nab you. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be saddened. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I think this is. I think this counts. I'm. I think this would counter the next phrase. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered. False. No, that's wrong. Aha! It was Junko who was murdered twice. Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? Mm, yes. What do you mean? Get stabbed. Well, remember what happened to her? Yes, pierced by the heavens. She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. Or was it called Junkier? From a number of I don't know. I, I completely forgot. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Then the similarities match? Uh-huh. Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies well, are actually I mean, one and the same. Technically, the wa wall up on the head matches Jihiro, but, and so does the knife. But those were after the fact, so... So let me see if I have this straight. Mm. Junko, Stabified. or someone going by that name was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Yes. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Now they're getting it. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. Exactly. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be the same injury. I'm glad we're getting somewhere. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Mm, no. Wait, so then... 
What does it all mean? It means Makuro's still alive. It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Yes. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And Can it's Makuro. The identity of the mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? It's Makuro. know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. That's what I'm saying. She's still alive. She took Yugo's body and made it look like she was the one who died. Uh huh. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gone. I don't like actually agreeing with Toko, but this might be the first time I've ever done that. Total silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Maybe. Makuro? Alive? The one that's still alive is Makuro. But, can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Makuro Yukisapa's still alive. Yes, this is the point where we rub off the tattoo! No, I don't know. The body we found in the garden... It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. Mm -hmm. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? He's just going. <laughs> Why is mm, for that to be true? Then that couldn't have been her. Have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. This is. No. This is when we're gonna rub it off. This is when we're gonna rub it off. Guys, watch. We're gonna rub off the tat. Oh well. Hey, will Monokuma no. let us out? The like a recess? Found in the garden was Mukuro. It wasn't. That's one thing we can be sure of. Are you sure? The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her. Yeah, but half of her was face was like she was blown up. Her weight would be different. Right, Kyoko? She was her hair was probably half her height. Weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, yeah. 21, 32. There was no hair, and hair was half of Junko's height, and like a half of Junko's weight as well. Everything in her profile is consistent with All that, that crap. 90s. Wait, 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 wait. How do I go back? And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there. Oh, I skipped that without thinking about Mukuro's it. Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? Mukuro. Someone made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. Uh, Junko. Here's my answer. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Or my possibility, you know. Are you sure about that? Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other I explanation. Didn't know. No, 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 listen to my theories. It also could be correct. Stabbified. We saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. Mm-hmm. Because Junko's actually dead, alive, it's just Makuro. Would had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Uh huh. Now that you mention it, I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. But she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check. Absolutely. And I can say for sure. Again, in that photo, her face is turned away. Literally the least photogenic, even when dead. She was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. Mm -hmm. So, the idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. Yes, it's Makuro. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. Ah. I guess your conclusion was a dud. Well, that's saddening. <laughs> too bad, too bad. 
This case hasn't been decided just Oh, Kyoko's going to come in. You haven't given up Coming with the save. Have you, Makoto? No, I have maybe. Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up. Yeah, thing. I would never give up. But before that, I am going to end this episode here because we've been going on long enough. So, thank y'all so much for watching. If you've been enjoying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, well, I think I'll see y'all in the next episode. Adios.